But there's a but. You always come back. You always come back to who you are again. No matter how high you go, how expanded you get in these experiences, it's still an experience. It's not permanent. What I'm suggesting, which I am interested in, is that which never changes. I'm not interested in an experience. I've had many experiences. That did not liberate me. I'm only interested in liberation. And the liberation is not an experience. It's not something comes and goes. It's something which is permanent. So, bring your attention in that direction. Go for the real deal. These other things, they're fantastic, they're great, they're expanding your consciousness, but they're not permanent. And it's very easy to get addicted to it. It's very easy to get distracted with it. But it doesn't take you home. You want to go home. Where you want to come to this place, which is still and silent and blissful and is con continuous. And it's not dependent on anything. So I don't have to drink something to get to it. It's always coming from its own light. Okay? Right. I, I appreciate you bringing it up and, exp and sharing it with me. But... And I've been there and I've gone there and I've gone through all of it. But that's not freedom. That's not where freedom is. Okay? Right all right. There? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. It's, it's a taste of freedom, but it also can become a crutch and it becomes a trap because there's still an I thought. There's still a person. I yeah. don't know if you were with us. And this me, this I thought, adds it up to... It gives itself another medal. It gives itself a pad. Adds it up right. to the list of its experiences. So what it does, it fortifies the sense of I am someone separated. And I had this experience. And look at me. And I had this experience as a oneness. And I was one with everything. But now I am back into separation. And when my wife is angry at me or a dog is barking and the kids are screaming, I'm back into the rut. I'm well, back actually, actually, I didn't say that I became one with, the, with everything. I actually said that I experienced infinite bliss, but it was lonely. And it did feel like it was an isolated, separate experience. And then this entity also was extremely selfish and felt that it was God and felt that every other person on this planet should be serving it. And so that's why I said cleaning up that, um, that right. soul or that right. entity would be, that's more, that's more work than cleaning up my human soul. Right. So I'm, I, I'm just going to, I'm just going to have to stop you here. Okay. Go ahead. Yeah, you already you already got it, my brother. It's 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 a great experience, but that's not freedom. Just just know that it's not liberation. I'm not saying don't do it anymore. Do it. I'm not saying it's good. It's bad. Uh, I don't have any judgment or stories about it. I'm just. We're only talking about one thing. We're talking about freedom. And that's not freedom. But thank you for sharing. I appreciate it, Sky. Anybody else? Anything else? We said we're going to go to uh, 11.45. So we're unofficially doing the academy for an hour and 45 minutes. Anyone else wants to... Have a question or want to share? Yeah, hi. Uh, uh, my name is Ashish. Yeah, I hi. wanted to ask you about uh, this liberation. Like, how how do you separate that I from all this uh, 
human suffering or, or like self. Right. Because all the suffering comes from like, for example, like uh, when you suffer, you, you these emotions and, and you feel heavy in your heart on, and then it gets more worse. And, and, but how do you disconnect that I from that emotion? Okay, can you be more specific? Are you talking about yourself? Uh, can you give me a, uh, uh, a little I'm, bit more? Yeah. Like, uh, I, 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 it, I'm talking about like myself when it comes to emotions and, and suddenly right. you feel from happiness yeah. to sadness and then you feel very heavy in your heart. I and, get it. And I relate to you because uh, I understand what you mean by that. When you, when, you, when you have this connection with I, because as soon as you, you start thinking about where does it come from? So that's how like, my question is about. I hope you understand it. Uh, I, let me see if I can answer you, if I got it or not. Okay, All so right. I, right. I'll, I'm going to answer the first part of it. The first part of it is that these emotions rises for you, this whatever feelings that were relating to suffering. So the, what you can do and, uh, is simply by identifying when an emotion rises inside you. Again, we don't have a lot of time, so I can't really get into it, but uh, I'm just going to refer to it very quickly. When someone is aware of suffering, someone, some entity, some being, some awareness is here, is aware of an unwanted emotion rising. Okay, let's say you get sad or you get, you get uh, jealous or you're whatever, you know, you get depressed. So what you can do initially is to identify that something arises Arisen in you, let's say depression, and simply telling yourself depression is here, depression is visiting me, the depression is present. And now you're not telling yourself you're depressed, you're saying depression is here. That means you are staying in your original place. Your original place is the witness, the observer, the one that is aware. That's your original state. The observer of whatever comes and goes, the witness, the watcher. And then when you tell yourself that depression is visiting me, depression is here, you're not saying I'm depressed. You're simply aware of a presence of an object which is moving into your field. And then that object loses its power. Depression doesn't have any power if you don't identify with it. And then it goes away. So that's how you can deal with unwanted emotions. Fear, worry, and anxiety have no place. They can penetrate into the force field. Stay in this place. Trust that that which created the world, the creator, is the same one who's responsible for the creation. And you are a part of that creation. The same one who has brought you into this world and has fed you and has helped you to come to this point in your life is the same one who's responsible to carry you along. Stay in this place. Come to this understanding. And then you will see that your mind quiets down and all fear and worry will disappear and life becomes very smoothly. Things will fall into places for you very easily. and stay in that place. You're going to be fine. Everything's going to be okay. And there's nothing to worry about for the spiritual warrior because the spiritual warrior carries, carries God inside. 
And that's your power. Love you very much. Nice to see you. And I'll see you next week. Namaste.